Getting through a long stay in the hospital is challenging for anyone, but when we're talking about a young child, the experience can be especially traumatic. Reporter Yahira Hawkes gives us unique access into a Phoenix Children's Hospital department designed to make each child's hospital stay a little easier. It's a job most of us have never heard of unless you've unfortunately had a sick child in the hospital. Child life specialists work day in and day out to bring a little normalcy to the children in the hospital and to help them heal. Oh it's a special day for baby Vivian Johnson. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right, it's my birthday. Vivian turned one today, and a year ago when she was born, we were told she wasn't gonna live, and she's done really well for the most part since then. Born with heart complications, more bad news came just eight weeks ago when doctors diagnosed Vivian with cardiac failure. Right now we're waiting for a new heart for her. She's on high priority for heart transplant. For her siblings, Savannah and Blake, it's been especially hard. I love her and I want her to get a new heart. But a special person has helped them get through it. Gigi. The Gigi's been a lifesaver for our family. I have just been able to provide the brothers and sisters a little bit of that normalization. I mean, they are kids. Well, the child life specialists cater to the children's psychosocial needs. They're part of the medical team. They work with the doctors and nurses, but they're focusing on the psychosocial needs, whereas the doctors and nurses are focusing on the clinical medical needs. It's with teaching tools like this that Gigi and other child life specialists explain to children what's being done, whether it's a procedure or surgery. And in Savannah and Blake's case, what it means for their sister to have a new heart. I will help support the siblings by dissecting the step-by-step -step process of what it's like to even get a heart transplant. What does it mean? Part of the job is also reminding the children that they're still kids. Just for that little while, they forget that they're here in the hospital because they start to smile and they start to just play and be themselves and you just see all that in their um, facial expressions. Just being himself is tough for Nolan, who's an asthma patient. Also suffering is his family. Everybody wants their child to feel good, be happy and healthy. And uh, we was not expecting to end up so many days in the hospital, so it's very hard. But seeing the smile on Nolan's face when the specialist brings his favorite toy makes it better. Oh, that was wonderful. Um, they was coming every few hours, checking on him. At the end of the day, specialists want children like Vivian and Nolan to go home healthy and knowing they'll always have a friend at the hospital. We're almost ready to go home. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> there are only about 5,000 certified child life specialists working in hospitals across the country today. But there's good news for Nolan, the boy with asthma. He is now home. I'm Yahira Hawkes, Cronkite News.